Hello children, today we are going to discuss third chapter that is coordinate geometry in our grade 9 CBSE curriculum, right. Coordinate geometry, do you know about coordinate geometry? What is this coordinate geometry is all about? Coordinate geometry, right? This coordinate geometry plays a very, very important role in even grade 10, grade 11, grade 12, even in engineering also and of course in our daily life. For example, one visitor is trying to visit your house. So, he is coming from some other place. You need to share your location to that particular person. So, what do you say generally? You will definitely say the landmark. Otherwise, you will simply nowadays you can simply say uh, send our Google map location also through Google map. See, generally when you share manually to the particular person then definitely you would say that. So, from there you come to bus stand and take an auto and uh, you just see this is the landmark some statue or something from that statue you take left or take right something like that and then you will share the location. Okay. See for example, I just want to um, give you a clear cut idea about this location. This is one box right? If I ask you where did I keep this box on the board, then how do you answer this? You would say this is just uh, nearer to the top edge maybe or nearer to the left edge or right edge. Suppose if I say this is one more box, suppose if it is one more box then what would you say is it not nearer to the top edge? It is exactly nearer to the top edge. And this box also nearer to the top edge. But with reference to this in the box, second box, you can say that it is more nearer to the ne more nearer to the top edge. But it is not exact location. Suppose if it is a table, top of the table, right? If it is top of the table, and uh, if I place one table lamp, this is the table lamp on the table. If I want to say what is the location of this table lamp on the surface of the table, then I would not say that it is nearer to the top corner or nearer to the top edge. I would definitely say that what is the distance of this table lamp from the top edge as well as distance of this table lamp from the right edge. Then definitely that is only the location where I kept my table lamp. See, according to the distances from the top edge as well as the right edge. Otherwise, you can say that this is what the distance of that particular table lamp from the left edge and this is what the distance of the table lamp from the downwards edge. So, definitely with reference to both the edges, you are locating this particular table lamp. See, this is nothing but this is what the distance from the left edge. Otherwise, this is what the distance from the top edge or this is what the distance from the bottom edge. So, definitely you are referring two distances. Those two distances are one is a horizontal distance and one is a vertical distance. Okay? So, this is what exactly the position of the table lamp. So, the table lamp is exactly at some uh, 10 centimeters distance from the left edge as well as some 15 centimeters distance from the bottom edge. What is this 10 centimeters and what is this 15 centimeters? See here, with reference to this best example, not only just to locate a table lamp on the table, just to locate the position of one's particular object, we need the help of mathematics. See here, there is one reference that is vertical reference as well as the horizontal reference. Either it can be vertical or it can be horizontal, anything. But there is a vertical reference as well as the horizontal reference. So, let us try to understand what is this vertical reference as well as horizontal reference. Okay? Now, let me take one horizontal line as well as one vertical line and more precisely, they are number lines. Okay? So, this is one horizontal number line named as x axis indicated by 
x dash x is the indication of horizontal number line it is called x axis and this is a vertical number line this vertical number line is indicated by y y dash these two are two perpendicular number lines okay these two perpendicular number lines intersect at a point this is the point of intersection of both the perpendicular number lines see with reference to this point on this horizontal number line suppose if you take zero here then from zero towards right on x axis as you know that that is positive number line and from zero towards left that is negative x axis that is negative number line and similarly from origin towards up that is positive number line called positive x axis from origin towards down it is said to be negative y axis okay see here i am for example this is what the place where i am living i just told my friend you will have to come to my place where that place is exactly at some for example 5 cm distance or 5 meters distance or whatever it is and then some 7 cm distance from the horizontal reference and 5 cm distance from the vertical reference so what exactly my point is my point is 7 comma 5 okay so i am is at 7 comma 5 <clears throat> so my position is at 7 comma 5 so what is that 7 comma 5 my place is at 5 cm distance or 5 meters distance from the vertical reference as well as 7 cm distance from the horizontal reference see here these 7 comma 5 are said to be coordinates of that particular location understand these are said to be coordinates of the particular location now coming to the point this is positive x axis this is positive y axis this is negative x axis and this is negative y axis suppose if you draw a line on the plane if you draw a line on the plane then this plane divides the this line divides the plane into three mutually disjoint set of points three mutually disjoint set of points so what are those three mutually disjoint set of points suppose if you take points here all these points lying above the line so this is one particular region and all these points are the points lying below the region below the line so all these points belong to this region and the points lying on the line because a line is made up of infinitely many number of points right so like that a line in which it is drawn the plane in which it is drawn divides the plane into three mutually disjoint set of points those three mutually disjoint set of points are the points lying one side of the line and the points lying other side of the line and the points lying on the line like that see x axis and y axis are drawn in a plane okay x axis and y axis are drawn in a plane now let me tell you this x axis and y axis divides the given plane into how many parts see this is first part this is second part this is third part this is fourth part okay each part is said to be how many number of parts are there there are totally four parts what is what do you call one fourth part one fourth part is said to be quarter part right so that quarter part in this plane is said to be a quadrant what do you call that a quadrant so that quadrant is q u a d r a n t that is called a quadrant now let us name those quadrants okay how do we name those quadrants yes i am naming the quadrants according to the position of x axis and the position of y axis see here i will start from here why should i start from here because if you want to form an angle between two rays see these two are two rays so generally you place your protractor like this isn't it so after placing the protractor like that then you should see from the right side see this is what the angle in this direction you will have to measure the angle so that is why we can say that angle should be measured in anti clockwise direction correct so that is why you will have to start from positive x axis and positive y axis with reference then 
this is what the quadrant we can call it as the first quadrant what do you call that it is called it as first quadrant indicated by q1 q1 is first quadrant and after that see this is the angle and you will have to go in anti clockwise direction right anti clockwise direction means you should go in this direction so when you go in this direction then this part is said to be second quadrant so indicated by q2 okay after the second quadrant and coming to the next part what is the next part here the next part is third quadrant this is q3 okay and coming back here and what do you call this part obviously it is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant then obviously this quadrant is said to be the fourth quadrant what do you call this the fourth quadrant okay so the name of this quadrant is fourth quadrant this is q4 now i am going to define what is meant by a quadrant quadrant is the region located between the region located between two axes see from origin towards right on x axis is called positive x axis from origin towards up is called positive y axis from origin towards left on x axis is called negative x axis from origin towards down is called negative y axis so how do i define this first quadrant first quadrant is the region located between positive x axis and positive y axis please listen carefully first quadrant is the region located between first quadrant first quadrant is the region located between positive x axis and positive y axis right and second quadrant is the region located between negative x axis and positive y axis we should always go with first x as well as y okay with reference so second quadrant is the region located between negative x axis and positive y axis and the third quadrant is the region located between negative x axis and positive y axis similarly fourth quadrant is the region located between positive x axis and positive y axis now my question is what is the common portion for two quadrants q1 and q2 what is the intersection of q1 and q2 what is the common portion for q1 and q2 indicated by q1 intersection q2 what is this q1 intersection q2 what is the common portion for first quadrant and second quadrant what would you say this is first quadrant this is second quadrant would you say common portion for q1 and q2 is positive y axis it's absolutely wrong would you say origin is the common point not at all you know why what is the definition of a what is the definition of a quadrant quadrant is a region located between positive x axis and positive y axis between positive x axis and positive y axis let me ask you a simple question what are the numbers between 2 and 7 <clears throat> if you are asked to tell the numbers between 2 and 7 will you say 2 3 4 5 6 7 <laughs> or will you say the numbers in between 2 and 7 since the question is the numbers between 2 and 7 then obviously you would say 2 is not included as well as 7 is also not included therefore the numbers between 2 and 7 are 3 4 5 6 we should not include 2 as well as 7 for the numbers between 2 and 7 so between 2 and 7 are nothing but those two numbers will not be included like that first quadrant is the region located between positive x axis and positive y axis between positive x axis and positive y axis means positive x axis positive y axis will not be included then <clears throat> whatever the numbers or whatever the points belong to this part are said to be the points belong to the first quadrant so with the help of this we can easily understand one thing that there is no intersection region for any two quadrants like q1 intersection q2 is no num no point and q2 intersection q3 q3 intersection q4 q4 intersection q1 or q1 intersection q3 or q2 intersection q4 they are all disjoint parts that is why i used four mutually disjoint set of points disjoint in the sense there is no 
common portion for any two quadrants. Okay. For example, I am taking a point here. This is the point on which axis? X axis. So, now my question is, is this point belong to first quadrant or fourth quadrant? That point does not belong to any one of the quadrants. That point belong to positive x axis because that is the point lying on positive x axis. That is why we can say that that is the point lying on positive x axis. Did you understand? Right. So, quadrant first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. So, why do we name these quadrants in this direction? Because angle will be measured in anti-clockwise direction. So, that is why if you start from here, then second quadrant will be here, third quadrant will be here and fourth quadrant will be here. And what do you mean by first quadrant? First quadrant is the region. What do you mean by region? It is a set of points, okay? collection of points. So, the region located between positive x axis and positive y axis is said to be the first quadrant like that the other four quadrants also right now coming to locating a point in one of the quadrants okay this is the first quadrant this is fourth quadrant okay and uh, this is second quadrant of course this is third quadrant and uh, the common portion for any two quadrants is there is no such point okay right see this since these are number lines okay that is positive x axis, negative x axis, positive y axis, negative y axis. I will mark numbers since they are number lines. Since this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5 and so on. Okay, taking 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit on x axis. Similarly, this is negative 1, this is negative 2 and this is negative 3, this is negative 4 and so on. Coming to positive y axis, this is 1 and this is 2 this is 3, 4 and so on. Again, here it is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and so on. Right? I am going to locate like this is, I am drawing a horizontal line through this point 1 and drawing vertical lines through 1 and through 2 and through 3, 4, 5 and so on. Okay? See, this is what is the first point. Okay, what is the position of this first point? To identify the position of the first point, let us identify how many units distance is that point from y axis. See, this is what the distance of the point from y axis. How much unit distance that is? That is 1 unit distance. So, this point is 1 comma and what is the position, what is the distance of the point from y axis? that is 1 from x axis, from x axis is nothing but from here to here, right? So, this distance is obviously equal to 1. So, the point is 1 comma 1, means the position of the point is 1 comma 1. For example, I am taking this point. Now, let us identify what is the distance of that point from y axis. So, this is what the entire distance from y axis. What is the distance from here to here is same as distance from here to here. That means, that point is 5 and what is the distance of that point from x axis? So, this is the distance of the point from x axis which is exactly same as this that is 1. So, the point is 5 comma 1. Okay? This point is 5 comma 1, this point is 1 comma 1 and similarly, I am going to draw one horizontal line through 3. Okay? I just want to find out the point for example, name of the point is P. If I want to identify the point P, then what is the distance of that point from y axis? Distance of that point from y axis is this. What is the distance is exactly equal to 3 units. So, 3 comma what is the distance of that point from x axis? So, this is the distance. What is the distance is same as this that is also 3. So, the point is 3 comma 3. Right? Now, coming to second quadrant. In the second quadrant, I am again drawing horizontal line through 2 and drawing vertical line from minus 3. I just want to find out the point here. Suppose the name of the point is Q. Again, same thing. What is the distance of this point from y axis? Distance of the point from y axis is this. That is same as this one only. No? So, 
the distance is 3 units, but it is negative direction of x axis that is why we considered as negative 3, but the magnitude is same that magnitude is 3 units distance. So, you should write it as negative 3 comma what is the distance of this point from x axis. So, this distance is same as this distance. What is this distance here? It is 2. So, that the point is negative 3 comma 2. Like that you can, you can find out one more point here that one more point is drawing a horizontal through minus 4 or through 4. See what is the distance of this point? Let this point is some r. What is the distance of that point r from y axis? So, this is what the distance. This distance is exactly equal to 3 units, but since it is negative, negative direction, so that it is negative 3 comma distance of this point from x axis. What is this distance? Is same as this that is 4 units. So, negative 3 comma 4 is the point in the second quadrant. Okay? If you once observe the points in the second quadrant as well as the points in the first quadrant according to their sign, sign of the first value as well as sign of the second value. Value is nothing but first component as well as second component. Okay? Coming to this third quadrant, in this third quadrant, I am drawing perpendicular line from 4 and uh, from minus 2. Okay? Suppose this point is some yes. What are the coordinates of this point yes? Again, what is the horizontal distance of this point? That is nothing but distance from y axis. The distance from y axis is going to be, what is this distance from here to here? It is going to be negative 4. And what is the vertical distance of this point? Vertical distance is going to be, this is negative 2, right? From here to here, negative 4. And what is this vertical distance? Vertical distance is equal to negative 2, is nothing but negative 2, right? Coming here, drawing horizontal line through minus 3 and drawing vertical line here. This is what the point that I am going to figure it out. Let this point be some t. Okay? And what are the coordinates of this point t? What is the horizontal distance? The horizontal distance is going to be minus 3 to here. Means what? 0 to 2. 0 to 2 is nothing but 2 units distance. And what is the vertical distance of this point? The vertical distance is same as this distance that is minus 3. Okay? So, the position of the point here is 2 comma minus 3. This is the way of plotting points on the graph sheet. See every single point is in the form of x comma y. Correct? Every single point is in the form of x comma y. So, what do you call that x and what do you call that y? In a point x comma y that x is called x is called x component x is called x component or x coordinate x component or x coordinate or first coordinate or else there is another name for this x component that another name for x component is abscissa a b s c i s s a that is what is about first component or x component or x coordinate or abscissa. So, since this x has totally four names what about the names of y? Yes, similarly, the names of y are y component, y is called y component and y coordinate, okay, y component or y coordinate or you can call it as second coordinate also and what is another name for this? Like abscissa, the another name for y is ordinate, o-r-d-i-n-a-t-e, okay y coordinate or y component or second coordinate or ordinate. So, this way we can name any point x comma y where x and y are said to be x component and y component are simply coordinates. So, that is why the plane containing these coordinates is said to be coordinate plane. right? So, the plane which has x axis and y axis is said to be coordinate plane as also called as Cartesian plane, coordinate plane otherwise Cartesian plane, Cartesian, Cartesian plane or coordinate plane or simply you can say that x y plane also. 
So, why do you call it as xy plane? Because x axis and y axis are located in this plane, that is why you can call it as xy plane. Now, you need to understand a few set of things here. Those few set of things are, let us identify the points in the first quadrant. What about the sign of x component as well as y component? If you identify any point on this, uh, in this particular first quadrant, 3 comma 3, positive 3, positive 3, 1 comma 1, both are positive, 5 comma 5, both are positive. So that if you take any point in this particular quadrant, any point in the particular quadrant, always x component is positive and y component is also positive. So that if x component is positive and y component is positive, then definitely that point belong to the first quadrant. Okay? Coming to the second quadrant. So, in the second quadrant, if you observe the points minus 3 comma 4, minus 3 comma 2 and of course, if you take any point, see here which component is negative? x component is negative because x is negative here and y component is positive, 4 comma 2, they are positive. So, that if you take any point in this particular quadrant, then x component is going to be negative but y component is going to be positive. right? Coming to the third quadrant, see here minus 4 comma minus 2. If you want to find out one more point here, what is this point here? That point is horizontal distance is 2 units, vertical distance is 1. So, this point is minus 2 comma minus 1. And here itself, both x component and y components are negative, here also negative. So, that if you take any point in this particular quadrant, then x component is negative as well as y component is also negative. So, coming to this fourth quadrant, in this fourth quadrant, see the points are 2 comma minus 3. It means x component is positive and y component is negative. Therefore, what kind of points here? x component should be positive and y component should be negative. This is what the position of points on the graph sheet. Otherwise, in coordinate plane or Cartesian plane or xy plane. Okay. So, what is this coordinate plane? The plane containing x axis and y axis is said to be a coordinate plane or Cartesian plane or simply x y plane. In the point x comma y, what do you call that x? x is said to be x component or x coordinate or first coordinate otherwise abscissa. Whereas, y is said to be y component or y coordinate or second coordinate or ordinates. Right? And briefly, if you take any point in the first quadrant, x is positive and y is also positive. If you take any point in the second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. If you take any point in the third quadrant, x is negative, y is also negative, means both are negatives. In fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. I will write them briefly. Hope you understand about this coordinate and how to locate the points on the coordinate plane, correct? Okay. So, coming to x axis and y axis again, okay? So, here x axis and y axis, you will have to consider that both of them are coordinate axis. So, this is x axis and similarly this is y axis, okay? This is y axis. x axis indicated by x o x dash or x dash o x okay? and this is y o y dash. right? These are coordinate axis and now you already uh, learned about the points in the coordinate plane. For example, if you take any point in x comma y like any point in this first quadrant that is x comma y belongs to the first quadrant q1 then definitely x must be greater than 0 as well as y is also greater than 0. Means what? x is positive, y is also positive. Coming to the second quadrant, if the point x comma y belong to second quadrant q2, then definitely x should be less than 0 and y must be more than 0. Suppose if there is a point x comma y belong to third quadrant, then x is smaller than 0 means x is negative, y also negative. Coming to the fourth quadrant, suppose there is a point x comma y belong to fourth quadrant q4, then x is positive as well as y must be negative. 
right you will have to remember this with this you can easily identify what are positive and what are negative in respect to quadrants okay coming to see we are identifying the points in different quadrants suppose if my point is on either x axis or on y axis how do you locate that point okay see again i will draw x axis and y axis okay then you can easily identify how to locate the points on x axis and y axis see this is x axis and this is y axis okay again y o y dash and this is x dash o x correct this is number 1 here and 2 and 3 and this is negative 1 and this is negative 2 and this is negative 3 and similarly this is positive 1 positive 2 positive 3 positive 4 and similarly some negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so on okay suppose my position is exactly at 3 this is what my position if this is my position then what are the coordinates of my position with respect to x axis and y axis first you should consider what is the horizontal distance of that particular point so tell me what is the horizontal distance of that particular point from origin from origin this is what the horizontal distance correct so the horizontal distance of this point is exactly 3 units and what is the vertical distance of the point from y axis vertical distance of the point from y axis means this is only the there is no vertical distance of that point right if there is no vertical distance of the point in the sense zero is the vertical distance suppose if i take a point here what is the horizontal distance of this point this is only the horizontal distance of the point from origin so horizontal distance is 1 what is the vertical distance vertical distance there is no vertical length that's why vertical distance is going to be zero so my points on x axis are 1 comma 0 and 3 comma 0 coming to negative side of x axis suppose this is what my position towards negative x axis then what is my position according to x axis and y axis so what is the horizontal distance of this point again horizontal distance is 2 units since it is negative side that's why negative 2 and what is the vertical distance there is no vertical distance that's why 0 is the vertical distance okay what did you observe about the points lying on x axis if you identify every single point on x axis abscissas are different abscissas are, are according to the position of the point they are horizontal distances from the origin so here abscissas are different whereas ordinate is zero for every single point so that if you take a point x comma y x comma y belong to x axis x comma y belong to x axis what do you mean by belong to x axis x comma y lying on x axis if x comma y lying on x axis then you can confidently say that the value of y is going to be zero if x comma y belong to x axis then y is equal to zero if y is equal to zero then x comma y point is exactly same as x comma 0 so that if you do not know what is the point on x axis then definitely you can consider one point on x axis as x comma 0 because for every point lying on x axis y coordinate or ordinate is zero you can look at you can identify them okay coming to the points on y axis okay for example this is what my position position of the point i just want to find out the horizontal distance of the point what is the horizontal distance there is no horizontal distance of the point since there is no horizontal distance obviously the horizontal distance is going to be zero then what is the vertical distance of the point the vertical distance of the point from here to here means from the origin is how many units there are totally four units so the position of the point is 0 comma 4 and coming to this point what is the position of this point or what are the coordinates of the point again what is the horizontal distance of the point there is no horizontal distance of the point that's why this point horizontal distance there is no horizontal distance that's why zero is the horizontal distance but whereas vertical distance from the origin is going to be 2 so the position of the point is 0 comma 2 like that coming towards uh, negative y axis suppose this is my point 
what are the coordinates of this point the coordinates of this point are what is the vertical what is the horizontal distance again there is no horizontal distance of the point that's why it is 0 and vertical distance is equal to 3 units but it is negative direction so negative 3 observe here again 0 comma negative 0 comma 4 0 comma 2 0 comma negative 3 these are all the points on y axis you can identify one more thing like the points on x axis here is if you take any point lying on y axis whose which coordinate is 0 x component x coordinate abscissa is 0 and what about the y coordinate y coordinate can be different from point to the point so that is why if x comma y is a point belong to y axis point belong to y axis means what point lying on y axis then the value of x is obviously 0 right so that the point x comma y is going to be 0 comma y so you can take this 0 comma y as a reference point on y axis like x comma 0 is a point with reference to x axis like that 0 comma y is a point with reference to y axis so like that we can easily identify the points on x axis as well as the points on y axis okay so what is the general form of a point on x axis x comma 0 is the general form of a point on x axis similarly what is the general form of a point on y axis 0 comma y is a general point on y axis general form of a point on y axis and here you can understand one more thing what is that one more thing like every single object has a name okay either it is a two dimensional object or three dimensional object or one dimensional object or no dimensional object what are these no dimensional object one dimensional object for example there is a point what are the dimensions of the point is this point has any length as a, any breadth of course length breadth both are same but they are almost negligible so that is why point is said to be no dimensional figure right now i am taking one line segment this line segment has only the length there is no width of course width is there again there is negligible that is why this line segment has a length that is why this line segment is said to be one dimensional object one dimensional figure and what are two dimensional figures if they have length and breadth every two dimensional figures are like uh, triangle polygon and moreover uh, you know uh, quadrilaterals all these are two dimensional figures what about three dimensional figure it has additional thickness also because of that thickness we can hold that object so that is why those kind of objects are said to be three dimensional objects okay see here x axis is a number line and y axis is also a number line what is the name of x axis with reference to these coordinates and what is the equation of y axis with reference to the coordinate now once you see i am taking a point on x axis if you take any point on x axis whose y coordinate is always 0 that is why y is equal to 0 is said to be the equation of x axis why y is equal to 0 is said to be equation of x axis because if you take any point on x axis whose y coordinate is always 0 so that is why y is equal to 0 is said to be equation of x axis coming to any point on y axis 0 0 0 so what is this 0 here x coordinate is always 0 so that is why the equation of this y axis is said to be x is equal to 0 okay x is equal to 0 is equation of y axis as well as y is equal to 0 is equation of x axis so like this we can locate the points on the coordinate plane right i hope you understand this is what we discussed um, we have the concept in our grade 9 coordinate geometry how to locate a point and what do you name that point and how do you name the coordinates of the point and what are four parts divided by two lines drawn in a plane and what is the common or intersection part of any two quadrants and what is the position of a point in respect to quadrants as well as what is the position of a point on x axis and y axis with that how do you name x axis as well as y axis hope you understand thank you